Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve the integration problem by trigonometric substitution. Let's take the first problem. In the first problem, we have numerator 1 and denominator we have cos x plus a into cos x plus b. So, we have to do some alteration. In the numerator, I am multiplying sin a minus b. So, sin a minus b is a constant. To compensate that, outside I have to divide by sin a minus b. And the denominator should be written as it is into dx. Now, once again, in the numerator we have a minus b. This we are going to write in terms of x plus a and x plus b. So, for that I have to take x plus a then minus x plus b. When I simplify this, this minus x plus x gets cancelled and I am left with a minus b. So, just a small rearrangement and we are going to do the substitution only in the numerator part. So, outside we have 1 by sin a minus b, let it be as it is, integral sin. So, this is x plus a minus x plus b and once again denominator it written as it is. Now, we are going to expand the numerator using the formula sin a minus b. So, our capital A is x plus a and capital B is x plus b. So, this outside term 1 by sin a minus b as it is integral. Sin a minus b is sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. And we are going to divide individually by the denominator. So, first term divided by cos x plus a cos x plus b and second term we are going to divide by cos x plus a into cos x plus b and we have into dx. Here what are possible we cancel. So, cos x plus b we can cancel. Here cos x plus a we can cancel. After cancelling the remaining term is outside 1 by sin a minus b integral. This is tan x plus a minus again sin by cos. So, tan but angle is x plus b into dx. Now, we are going to apply the formula for this integration. So, outside 1 by sin a minus b is written as it is. Now, integration of tan is log secant. So, log of secant x plus a minus log of secant x plus b. Usually, we write a modulus inside the log. Now, we are going to apply the log rule. So, outside term is written as it is. Now, log a minus log b is log a by b. So, log of secant x plus a by secant x plus b plus c. If we want, we can write in terms of the cos theta form. That is, by taking this to the denominator and this to the numerator. So, final answer will be 1 by sin a minus b into log numerator will become cos x plus b and denominator will become cos x plus a because when I take this to the numerator it will become secant will become cos and the secant is 1 by cos. So, we carry to the denominator secant x plus a is cos x plus a plus c. Coming to the second problem, we have similar form but the angle is x minus a and x minus b. In the first problem we have x plus a and x plus b. So, even here we are going to do almost similar procedure. 
let's take in the numerator a constant sin a minus b. So to compensate it, we have to divide outside 1 by sin a minus b into dx and denominator is written as it is. Now I have to replace this a minus b in terms of x minus a and x minus b that can be done by taking a minus b as x minus b then minus of x minus a. Suppose if I simplify this, this will become x minus b minus x plus a after cancelling these two we left with a minus b. So this a minus b is written in the form of x minus b and x minus a. So outside 1 by sin a minus b is written as it is. Then integral sin a minus b is x minus b minus x minus a whole divided by denominator as it is. Now we are going to take this as sin a minus b form. So by using the formula sin a minus b numerator is sin a cos b minus cos a sin b whole divided by we have the denominator as it is into dx. Now we are going to divide individually. After dividing individually we can cancel cos x minus a here and cos x minus b here. After cancelling the remaining term if we see we have sin by cos tan. Both are tan. So outside term is written as it is integration of tan x minus b minus tan x minus a into dx. Now direct formula integration of tan is log secant. So this will become log mod secant x minus b minus log mod secant x minus a then plus c. Here we are going to apply the log rule. So log a minus b is log a by b. So log of a is secant x minus b by log b is secant x minus a. So whenever there is a subtraction log we divide. So this is our answer. But once again like the previous problem we can write this in terms of cos by taking this secant to the denominator as cos x minus b and this secant x minus a to the numerator as cos x minus a. So 1 by sin a minus b log of cos x minus a by cos x minus b within modulus then plus c.